The great thing about the internet is, is that if you use it as a research tool to begin to go back and get the pieces of time, right, that when a story was uh, printed, and then look at it, particularly in this case, literally five years later. And this one here came out of Popular Science, talked about how the clouds were getting lower. And at the time of this article, it was thought it was a good thing because as the article went on to talk about that the fact the lower clouds are, it meant that it could help with global warming. Well, NASA came out with a similar uh, statement at the time, uh, as you can see here as well, February 24th, uh, 21st, 2012. And it says NASA satellite finds Earth clouds are getting lower. Well, you know, this began to go and I began to say, well, how much lower? Well, when you begin to look at this, the article was quite, quite interesting. So I went through and began to see this one was from July 2016 last year. Global warming is shifting Earth's cloud study shows. Again, more confirmation. And I came here and found this article July 11, 2000. So it seems like these articles come out within uh, four or five days of each other. Global cloud coverage shifting in ominous sign of climate change. Well, climate change is happening all the time, but this phenomenon specifically is how the clouds are lowering. And then I came across this article that said, well, now they're finding an extra layer of clouds down in the tropics. And this is going to have a cooling effect. Okay. So I began to collect some other pictures that I thought you might be interested in seeing and to seeing how this phenomenon is actually happening. So this is what we expect to see, right? It's, you know, Satellite pictures. This is how, you know, meteorologists and planners um, in a variety of different parts of the uh, economy um, actually look. This is what we perceive to be clouds looking down upon them. Ever flown in a plane? We know it's a kind of different perspective when you're actually climbing through them. But seriously, how would we know if, in fact, clouds are lowering? I mean, Pilots are seeing it, but to those of us who are not in the occupation that requires us to fly at uh, 30,000 feet plus every day, yeah, uh, it would be one of those things that you wouldn't notice. What we do notice is more and more pictures from all around the world of clouds that have been properly identified, but it's the way that these clouds are coming in and particularly the colors. But even with clouds that we can identify, how would you know if they were lower? And now we have artificial clouds. Yeah, if it isn't bad enough, you know, <laughs> realizing that we've got the real clouds that are becoming lower, we've got artificial clouds. But there is enough anecdotal evidence that actually would say and confirm that clouds are getting lower. I mean, seriously, how would you know the difference? Is this normal? Yes? No? I don't know. I think. Maybe. I, I wouldn't know. Now, I lived in Tennessee, and particularly when you live in the Blue Ridge Mountains out there, you see this effect all the time. Uh, winter, summer, uh, and it gives you a perspective of how clouds, moisture, etc. actually form. But I don't ever recall that this phenomenon, and when you look at this and you're staring up, you've got the mountain in the backdrop, right? And someone's obviously looking straight up. Again, very hard to really get a perspective if a cloud's at a normal height or not. I mean, we see more and more uh, clouds and we're seeing more unusual clouds. Now, we're gonna look in here in a little bit about these nanosecond clouds, the rainbow clouds. Supposed to be a rare phenomenon, right? Well, 
you know, it, it appears that what was once rare is becoming more normal. So the question I have, what's going to replace the rare? Because so far it's been really, really far out. But normal cloud? Yes. How do you know if that's normally the height of it? I don't know. I know we're getting some far out pictures. I mean, holy cow, you really don't need any type of uh, psychedelics here. Mother Nature in man and whoever is putting on quite the show. But this we can say, I mean, there's just some weird phenomenon happening, right? I mean, light can really play havoc on our senses. And then you add clouds and you say, well, what is normal? What isn't? I don't know. There's a lot of theorists that say that cloaking devices use clouds. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I know that if you live near mountains, you get these, I mean, which are phenomenal clouds. But if you never lived near mountains and you came to visit a mountain, you would find that to be very unusual. But what does become even more unusual again is when the rare starts to become much more of the norm. Look at this. And now we're getting this event. Last year, there were more and more stories about, and in fact, here in Colorado, we actually, uh, the news covered one of these events where these clouds form and where before you would see rain shafts. Yeah, yeah, we get that. You know, yeah, that's going to happen when you get them out of the base of these um, clouds. But now it's happening where it's like it's so concentrated into a small specific area that if you're underneath that, you know, it's going to be woe is you. But again, the point to this, how would we know? What is causing this effect? I mean, because if it's happening, which it appears that it is, what's causing it? Is it because, and NASA doesn't seem to have a real answer for it. And if you live in the big cities, I mean, seriously, how would you know? Now, I visit New York, and I can tell you there have been times when I have been out uh, along where you can actually go out and see the Statue of Liberty at night and look out on the, uh, the piers where the clouds just seem really low. But it could be that you're in a city that has very high skyscrapers. But we do see a number of odd phenomenon happening more and more. I mean, when you begin to see some of these clouds that come in and the way they approach, it's, uh, well, can be somewhat unsettling, but also very mystifying at the same time. I find clouds to be quite unusual. I am an amateur photographer. And some of these I have inserted as my own. Many of these are not. Uh, but it's the effect of what we're seeing now. Becoming more and more pronounced. Is this because the clouds are getting lower? Is there something within the atmosphere that is having an effect that we can't seem to measure? Can't seem to quantify other than by physical evidence? Is this what we're looking at? Is it because now more and more people have access to recording devices? You know, virtually everyone in the world now has a cell phone. Is this the reason that we're seeing more and more of the unusual formations and shapes of clouds? Or is it because that this phenomenon is actually happening? where we're getting just a plethora of different colors, colors that no artist could ever conceive of, and effects that, well, boggle the imagination. But we know it's happening. How much of this is man-made? How much of it is a cause and effect? We do know that something is happening. And even that which seems to be bizarre, is there a logical explanation? I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure how we can begin to have an atmosphere that is better than any LSD trip uh, that Andy Warhol could paint. We know this, it's showing up everywhere. I record many of these. And we're seeing light react in such a manner. Here's one of those effects that I was talking about. And if you're down underneath this and it's a slow mover, you could get several inches of rain, if not more, in a very short period of time. But we know our atmosphere is definitely changing. We have scientists that try to explain it. Some who just don't even want to touch it. And rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, some of this we can attribute, others we can't. But we all are fascinated, no doubt, by the majesty and the brilliance of this effect that's happening. Now, I can tell you I'm at the age where I am observe it, and I can tell you, while I was growing up, I never saw this never saw the effect of where you could have multiple colors in one event, where you have white rainbows instead of colored ones, where now you have colored skies that is this ice crystals or is this, how shall we say, maybe a um, hmm, floral, I don't know, polymer? How much of it is natural? It's hard to say. But getting back to the point, if clouds are lowering, would we be seeing something that could be causing it? What causes these multiple colors, strange rainbows in the sky, light refracting, bending off of what? It's hard to say. But we know this, the skies are changing. We can see it. It's beyond the point of bizarre, is it not? But I thought that this would be a great video, if nothing more, just to stop and consider what it is that we're actually seeing. So, are the clouds lowering where you live? Are they becoming now, a tapestry of pastels. I don't know. They are here. All right. Be kind to one another.